resume reader, Crow Song. And today I will be reading to you from Never Left by Plastic Bag 3207. Now on to chapter three. All right, Chips. Sorry it smelled much. Russia said as he unlocked the door. America appeared in and immediately stopped wagging his tail. What happened? He thought as he looked around. Russia rubbed the back of his neck. Yeah, sorry, I didn't clean beforehand. I didn't really expect to come home with a dog. I only went because Hulk in Canada made me. He explained. The white dog looked up at the mention of the maple syrup-loving country. Russia smiled at the thought of making a pun out of how horrible his life had been, knowing that America always liked bad puns. Life's been pretty rough, he said, if only his beloved were here to enjoy it. Well, anyways... Come on, Ian, I'll let you explore while I unload the car, he said, walking back towards his car, leaving the white dog to wander the house. America trotted towards the couch and stared at it, remembering all the movie nights he and Russia had spent cuddling on it. Next, he went to the kitchen, where he found an unhealthy amount of vodka bottles scattered around. Some were broken, others were intact, but they were all empty. America trotted up the stairs and into the bedroom. He looked around. Like the kitchen, there were vodka bottles scattered through the place. The sheets on the bed had been tossed around. Everything just looked like a massacre. Chips, come here, boy. Russia called from downstairs. America perked his ears and returned to the country calling him. Though he wondered, had Russia really been doing this poorly since he had died? There you are, the man said, pulling out his phone. My sibling and their boyfriend want to see a picture of you, he explained, not really caring that he was talking to a dog, and wouldn't get much of a response. It was nice to be able to talk to someone who would listen. There, sent, he said and plopped down onto the couch, letting out a large sigh. America looked up at Russia and jumped up on the couch next to him, resting his head on the man's leg. Russia smiled and let his hand stroke the white dog. And they would have liked you. He thought to himself, but was quickly interrupted by his phone ringing. He picked it up and answered. Hello. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. Russia winced as he heard Ukraine squealing on the other side of the phone. It's actually a he... Russia sighed as he was cut off before he could explain that Chips wasn't a girl. If she isn't spayed, you should breed her and make her have adorable babies with another dog. Oh, I bet they would be adorable. Ukraine said it was clear they were about to explode from all the excitement. America flattened his ears at the make her have babies part. Sure, he had always wanted children at some point, but the fact that Ukraine had actually said that kind of bothered him. Then again, he couldn't really blame them. They didn't know. Ukraine, they're a boy. Also, I don't plan on breathing him, Russia said. Ukraine went dead silent. Oh. Yeah, Russia said awkwardly. America thought for a moment. What if Russia did get him neuter? Actually, maybe it wasn't the best idea to imagine his balls getting chopped off. Oh, also, UK wants to get together Wednesday night, just as a family thing, Ukraine explained. Russia was dead silent. He says you don't have to come if you don't want to, and that he understands if... I'll come, 
Russia responded. His voice was all of the sudden cold and harsh. Ukraine smiled. Thanks, bro. Maybe you could bring chips, too? I think that he and UK and France's dogs could get along. Plus, I know everyone is going to want to see him once they know you have him. Ukraine said. Yeah, okay. I'll just bring him. Just tell UK I don't want to see Marade. Will do. Thanks, Yuki. No problem, big bro. And with that, Russia ended the call and looked over to Chips, who was still resting his head on Russia's leg. Russia sighed and got up. I should clean this place so you don't step on glass or something. For the next hour and a half, Russia spent his time cleaning the house, throwing away all the empty bottles, using the vacuum cleaner to suck up all the glass shards that he might have missed. By the end, he was exhausted. He hopped into the shower and quickly cleaned himself, brushed his teeth, and climbed into bed. America hopped up on the bed next to Russia. The man shot up. Off, he commanded. America just sat there, looking at him. Off, Russia said again, this time more firmly. America whined and jumped off the bed and stared at Russia. Your bed is in the living room downstairs if you want to sleep there. Russia grumbled before burying his face into his pillow. America huffed and wandered down into the living room to see a dog bed by the fireplace. Well, I'll just bring my bed to him, he thought as he grabbed the edge of the bed with his mouth and began to drag it up towards the bedroom, determined to sleep somewhat close to Russia. About halfway up the stairs, America just gave up and returned to his old bedroom to see Russia fast asleep. Well, he can't stop me now, he thought as he got up onto the bed and curled up next to Russia, making sure to make minimal movement as to not wake the sleeping country, slowly drifting into sleep. And that's the end of this chapter. I hope you enjoyed. Anyway, I'd like to invite you to join the Discord, which is linked down in the description below. That being said, I hope you have a nice rest of your day, night, or whatever it is for you. Just enjoy your time. And I will see you tomorrow.